Pro Football Weekly is at Super Bowl 46 in Indianapolis. We're in the media center right now. I'm joined by the Canton Repository, Steve Dorschuk. Steve, if it's Super Bowl week, it also means that it's Hall of Fame induction week. We find out who the next class will be. How do you rate this group of finalists as a whole? I rate this one, Adam, as a real bear for the people who are going to be in that meeting on Saturday to get through. And that's because um, you can't tell the difference between candidate number one and candidate number 15 almost in terms of weight of um, qualification to get in. It's a very homogenized class. Last year it was easy. They had two right off the bat. They had Deion Sanders, they had Marshall Falk. Go from there. I mean, this year there are a lot of big names, though. Wide receivers, we've seen Chris Carter, Tim Brown, Andre Reid haven't been able to get in yet. This, it's a, they have huge numbers, though. I mean, do you expect one of these guys to possibly get in? Well, somebody has to among that group. All three arguably have to eventually. But this would be the year to get in. Because it's so homogenized, because there aren't a Falk and a Sanders that have to go in and are going to bump one of them, the guy who um, fascinates me a little bit is Tim Brown. He had more receiving yards by himself than the two Pittsburgh Steelers in the Hall of Fame, Stallworth and Swan, had together. Just a different era of football. It'll continue that way, the way they're putting up you know, video game-like numbers in the passing game. Another big name, Bill Parcells, on the ballot. He was on it back a few years ago, but then came back to coaching. Do you expect him to be able to get in? I expect that if Parcells does get in, and I expect him to get in, that Mike Holmgren had better also get in when he's eligible in 2014 or shortly thereafter because they had the same career record, they had the same playoff record, relatively speaking. Parcells was 2-1 and one in Super Bowls, Holmgren was 1-2. and two. However, the one was against Parcells. It's funny, I don't think people kind of realize that. The, the big boastful personality of Bill Parcells, he gets more recognition. We'll see how Holmgren does if Parcells does get in. That's a preview of the Hall of Fame class. You can check back here later in the week for the announcements for the best coverage of Super Bowl week. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.